Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today we are in Langkawi, Malaysia. It's in the north, it's an island between Malaysia and Thailand. We're just about to go for lunch. We're going to a place called Bella because our Airbnb host has recommended it a few times and she said it's the best kind of place for local food in town. So we're gonna go there for lunch. And then this afternoon, she's gonna drive us around the island with another couple who are also staying in the same accommodation as us and kind of show us all the hot spots like where the cable car is, where the waterfalls are, where the beaches are, things like that. Yeah, let's go get some food. Okay, so we are just walking towards Bella. Jeremy checked on the map to see where it is and it's closed today. So we're gonna to go to the place that we went to the other day where it's kind of like you help yourself to the food options. So we'll get there at some point, maybe tomorrow we'll go to Bella's. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back to this one, Roti Kanai and Nasi Kampo, just because it's close, it's easy, it's cheap, and there's loads of different food options, which is amazing. Okay, so this is Jeremy's plate, lots of chicken and egg and aubergines. And this is my plate. They didn't really have any veggies. This was part of another plate. These two are chicken. This was part of another plate and then eggs. So a bit of a shame we didn't get lots of veggies today. And then this is the restaurant inside. And he's currently making some roti canai, which is what we had for breakfast yesterday. We could have ordered that, but we forgot about it, but it looks good. Okay, we've come to this place that sells this jewellery for 15, which is about 3 euros and I absolutely love them. I think they are beautiful, so I'm buying one of these. I'm going to see how I get on with it for a week and then I might come back and buy more because I think the rocks might be annoying like to sleep and then maybe I have to take it off and on every day. Um, but there's greys, there's browns, there's blues and greens and purples. And then this side, there's this one that I really like, like reddy, browny colours. This one I really like as well, yellowy, whites, blues. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. And I don't often find bracelets that I like. I also like these, but they have bells on them. And I think that would get annoying. But there is so many choice, so much choice, sorry. So many choices, either way. And I love them. And they're this guy. Okay, so the shop is called Kim's Seashell, if you ever want to come here. I think there's actually nice bracelets. And there's these ones as well that I quite like. Um, these that you could kind of tie on so there's like I don't know if they're real pearls but like seeds and things and these ones again don't have bells and it's the sort of thing that you tie so it can fit everyone so I really like these I think I'm gonna come back and get some more probably but this is the bracelet that I went for it's got some nice kind of earthy tones some greens yellows browns and kind of purpley tones and whites and things so I think that is lovely Okay, so lunch was delicious. We are now back at the hotel with my new bracelet that I love. It is such, like, such me colours. Um, we just messaged the Airbnb host saying like, okay, do we need hiking shoes or is flip-flops okay? Like, what we're doing? And she said, you'll need a towel and you'll need hiking shoes. So I've changed. I put my bikini on underneath and then just this dress on top that I don't mind getting, like, wet and a little bit ruined if we end up um, going for a swim in a waterfall or anything. She said that she can give us beach towels, so I'm going to be wearing my hiking shoes. I'll probably take my camera as well. Um, and I think it's going to be a bit more of a day trip than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be like an hour or two drive around and kind of like, there's the waterfall, there's this, there's that. Whereas actually, I think we might be stopping in places. I don't know. <laughs> I don't entirely know what to expect, but I'm going to try and be as prepared as possible. So I take my camera take bug spray, take sun cream, take my hat, things like that. I'll probably wear my big Dora the Explorer hat today because it's really hot outside um, and make sure I put cream on my arms and things. So a little bit more than I was expecting today, but that's fine. So I'm just going to get ready and I'll show you a little bit when we get going. Okay, so I couldn't really vlog in the car much because there was other people, obviously, but we have been dropped off at the Seven Wells Waterfall, I think it's called, something like that. Apparently it's like a five minute walk to get to the waterfall and then you can hike even further, probably like half an hour, an hour or something like that, to a, um, like a lake at the top, basically, like a pool almost at the top. So I'm not sure how much we're going to do, but I do have my hiking shoes on, I've also got my bikini underneath, they gave us a towel. So I'm prepared to hike up, get a hot and sweaty, and then go for a swim, which should be lovely. So I'll just quickly show you where we're at. So I think this is the official name, Jalan Telaga Tuju. <laughs> Probably saying that wrong, but anyway, we're going to walk up there. 
Okay, this is looking pretty steep. I don't know if you can really tell on the video, but I think it's gonna take me more than five minutes, we'll see. <laughs> so if you come to the right-hand side of the slope, there's actually stairs going all the way up, which is gonna be a lot easier. So there's a slope there for cars, this is for walking. So we're coming up here and this is closed, which leads to the seven wells north of the top. So I'm not sure why, but instead we're just gonna to have to go down here which is the seventh waterfall basically, so we won't be able to see the rest of it. So we're going down this way instead. Somebody just told us it's really nice down here anyway, so that's good. Okay, so we have arrived at the seventh waterfall. Oh wow, I can see it coming up there. I'll show you in a second. But this is what it's like. We'll be able to go for a swim and relax, which is lovely. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So you might have seen the footage of Jeremy climbing the waterfall. I then went and joined him. It was quite slippy, so he came down and met me. We went up together. We kind of sat in the water for a little while, which was lovely, on kind of the middle of the waterfall section. Um, there was a bit where you could like put your legs like down the waterfall a little bit, but there was like a ledge kind of stopping you from falling, basically. So it was really, really nice. It was nice and cool and refreshing. We then came down had to sit down for a little while took some pictures in the waterfall which you might have seen and then we walked further down the waterfall like away from people away from that busy section and Jeremy flew the drone so I'll be able to pop that footage in as well and then after Jeremy flew the drone we went and dried off and kind of sat in one of the cabana things dried our feet got dressed again Jeremy was talking to two of the drone flyers about the drone and comparing sizes and things like that so that was really nice for him to like talk to people about that but the host and the two of the people apparently in the car at the bottom, so they're waiting for us, will be down in literally two seconds and then we're gonna to go to the next spot. But I definitely think the Seven Wells waterfall was worth going to. Um, it's a shame that a lot of it was closed, but even if you just get to that first one, it was nice and relaxing. Definitely worth going for an hour or two just to chill out and enjoy some nature. I also had a little bit of a snooze as well, which was nice. <laughs> Okay, so we have made it to the next destination, which is Sandy Skull Beach. And apparently it's called this because you can see an island in Thailand that used to be a prison and people would escape from the prison and try and swim over to here in Malaysia and die along the way. And then they would see people here would see skulls and dead people. <laughs> so it's not a great name, but anyway, we've come here and we've got an hour here apparently. So we can swim, we can lay in the sun a little bit and relax. So yeah, looking forward to seeing it. So this is where we're going and then it should just be here in front. Okay, so this is Sandy Skull Beach. Again, not a great name, but it's pretty small and pretty private. Beautiful waters, so I'm looking forward to going swimming. Okay, so we have finished at the beach, had a lovely time here. I think we're now gonna move on to the next place where we're gonna watch sunset. I might be wrong, I'll let you know when we get there. But this beach was lovely, nice and small, nice clear water. There was some shading as well under the trees, which was perfect. So we're gonna get going and I'll show you the next place. 
Okay, so next stop is a waterfall. It was literally five minutes drive from the other place. She said we can spend 15 minutes here and not go swimming. I guess that's because we won't have time to dry, but so we can play in the water. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be here 15 minutes and I'll show you what we're looking at. So this is the way there. There's a path leading the way, which is brilliant. And then the waterfall is just in front. And also just for info, everything that we've done today has been free. There's been free entrance everywhere. We've not had to pay, which I think is brilliant because I think in a lot of places, you'll probably have to pay some sort of entrance fee. But it's been free, which is good. So this is the current view. We're walking along this path. And there's these like bodies of water and small waterfalls <laughs> leading up to the big waterfall here. Okay, I've hiked up to the next section. Not sure if you can hear me, but it's like a big swimming pool here. Wow! This is on 0 0.5. This is on the wide angle. And there's like a pool up here, so it's definitely worth climbing up those steps if you can. I think these kids here are jumping off. It's so cool, and the space is there for you to lay down as well. Okay, another great waterfall, a lot less busy than the first one, but I think just because it's later on in the day. But I think it'll be lovely to come back here with some lunch and kind of like read a book, have a snooze, have a swim and like take a little pack lunch with us and stay for a couple of hours. So we're thinking about hiring a car, so that might be what we do one like morning or afternoon or something. Okay, we have made it to the beach for sunset. Apparently there's a restaurant here as well, so we might get food. <laughs> Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube. You're going to be famous. <laughs> okay, so this is the view. Beautiful beach. Incredible views. And then the sun is going to set over there. So it's going to be lovely. we've just ordered food I got a chicken and garlic thing with rice and Jeremy got I'm not sure a, sp a squid or something and we're gonna sit here together with the other guests and then there's a sunset over there <laughs> hi guys it's the very next day so I stopped vlogging yesterday because it got very dark very quickly obviously watching the sunset from the beach but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tour of Langkawi. Today we are doing a work day, so I'm not going to be vlogging, but I will be vlogging the next fun day that we have. We're thinking about hiring a car at some point and going to some waterfalls, doing the cable car, going off exploring. So there will be more vlogs from Langkawi. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back here very, very soon for more of my travel content. Bye!